Across the African plains, deep in the forest of trees, lived the baboons. The baboon troops in Bravelands are organized into rigid hierarchies, but they are meritocratic, which means every baboon starts at the bottom and can work his or her way to the top. To move up in rank, a baboon must complete the three feats. 1. Steal the egg of a bird that eats flesh. 2. Cross the Crocodile River. 3. Win a fight against another three feet contender. Completing one feat moves you up one rank. Your rank dictates who gets the best food and who you can be paired with romantically. Relationships across different ranks are frowned upon. The structure of the baboon society is based on trees. At the bottom of their hierarchy are deep roots. This is where every baboon starts. Most of the troop are deep roots, who have yet to complete any of the three feats. They do all the worst jobs. Cleaning, gathering bedding, grooming, running errands. As the lowest rank, they are expected to obey the other ranks without question. Next are the low leads. They have completed one of the three feats. They gather nuts, fruit, berries, and roots. The food that doesn't require hunting. They are also responsible for taking care of the troops' babies. Above low leaves are the middle leaves. They have completed two of the three feats. They are the hunters and fighters of the troop. The chosen few are selected to sit in a high leaves retinue. High leaves have completed all three feats. The council that advises the crown leaf is selected from among the high leaves. They settle disputes, oversee food distribution, police the troop, and fight when the need arises. Among the high leaves are the good leaves, the healers of the troop, and the star leaf, who interpret signs for guidance about the future. The crown leaf is the sole leader, elected by the whole troop. Candidates must be a high leaf to be considered. Crown leaves listen to the advice of their council, but must ultimately make big decisions on their own such as when a troop should move on, if a baboon should be exiled, and whether a romantic pairing is permitted. For the baboons of Bravelands, this is how it has always been. But change is on the horizon. The code of the wild has been broken, and one baboon must join a lion and an elephant to uncover the truth, before the fragile balance of Bravelands is destroyed forever.